Hey folks, this is Kalani. We're into the week of Thanksgiving, so I hope you all have a great time if you're in the States, but this time of year also brings around the Pilgrim's Bounty event in World of Warcraft. This event has grown a little more this year with the ability to add the Pilgrim's costumes to your transmog wardrobe. The rest is more or less the same. So let's have a look at what goodies you can grab from the Pilgrim's Bounty event and how to get your hands on all of it. Before we start, make sure to hit up that subscribe button. If you want to help the channel grow, check out the links in the description below. If you work your way through everything on offer in the Pilgrim's Bounty event, you can pick up all of the Pilgrim's costumes as Transmog, a 10% reputation bonus for the duration of the event, 5 recipes to add to your cookbook which do count towards the recipe achievements, two battle pets in the plump turkey and the bush chicken, as well as the silver plated turkey shooter toy, which covers your target in turkey feathers. Not too bad for an event that only runs for one week. So to get started, you'll need to visit one of the bountiful tables available at your capital cities. They're just outside of Ogrimmar, Thunderbluff, the Undercity and Silvermoon for the Horde, and Stormwind, Ironforge, Darnassus and the Exodar for the Alliance. If you're just interested in that sweet reputation bonus, all you need to do is eat 5 of each food at the table. If you're alone, you just need to hop on each chair, eat the food available there 5 times, and when you've eaten 5 of each food, you'll gain the Spirit of Sharing buff, which provides the 10% extra reputation. If you want some of the other goodies, you're going to have to work a little harder. The first thing you'll need is cooking. You can start this event with one cooking, but some of the recipes will require you to level it up just a little bit. Thankfully, the Pilgrim's Bounty is also quite a cheap way to level up your cooking anyways, so if you haven't started with cooking yet, this is a great time to catch up. Find one of the vendors around the Bountiful tables and purchase yourself the Bountiful cookbook. This includes every recipe you'll need for the entire event, except the spice bread recipe which you will need to learn from a trainer. Thankfully, it only requires cooking level 1. So this event is based more or less entirely on daily quests. There's 5 total spread across 3 of the capital cities. Silvermoon and the Exodar don't have daily quests, but all of the others do. Each daily quest requires you to cook up 20 of one of the recipes, but some of the ingredients are only available at certain capital cities. To stock up on cranberries, you'll have to visit Ogrimmar or Ironforge. For pumpkins, you'll have to be at Stormwind or the Undercity. Potatoes come from Thunderbluff or Darnassus, and the turkeys you actually have to hunt yourself in either Tirisful Glades or Elwyn Forest. You can buy the ingredients for the stuffing at any location. You will need 20 spiced bread stuffing, 20 pumpkin pie, 20 candied sweet potato, 20 cranberry chutney, and 20 slow roasted turkey to finish off all of the dailies for one day. To cook up all of those items, you'll need to purchase 100 honey, 60 autumnal herbs, 20 mild spices, 20 simple flour, 20 pumpkins, 20 cranberries, 20 sweet potatoes, and also you'll need to hunt yourself 20 turkeys. If you want to complete all of the dailies for the entire week the event is active, times those numbers by 7 and that's everything you'll ever need for the Pilgrim's Bounty quests this year. All that's left is to swing by all your capital cities each day and hand in the daily quests. Each daily quest will present you with a choice of rewards. This is where you can pick up the transmog pieces, so if you want every transmog piece you'll need to do at least 5 dailies to pick up all 5 pieces. Make sure to pick up one of the 3 chess pieces and the hat at the very least, as you will actually need a hat as well as a robe, dress or attire to complete the meta achievement. When you've got all of the pieces you need or are interested in, you can pick up the Pilgrim's Bounty Bag with the rest of your dailies. These bags can contain a bunch of assorted food, the turkey shooters which are required for one of the achievements, the silver plated turkey shooter toy, the frightened bush chicken combat pet, as well as the fine Pilgrim's hat, which kind of just looks like the normal Pilgrim's hat. So that's pretty much what the event involves, but there is a meta achievement to earn as well. Let's quickly bash through all of those achievements. The Pilgrim's event is honestly pretty quick and easy. The meta achievement awards you with the Pilgrim title, as well as the plump turkey combat pet. There's 9 achievements total which you'll need to complete. Now we're cooking requires you to cook each of the 5 Pilgrim bounty recipes, which if you're doing the daily quests will pretty much be handed to you on a silver platter. Pilgrim's Progress is also a free achievement because it requires you to complete all 5 daily quests available during Pilgrim's Bounty. Just finish all of the dailies from your capital cities and you're good to go. The Sharing is Caring achievement requires you to sit in each chair at a bountiful table and pass your food to another person or chair. Pass each type of food and the achievement is yours. 
Food fight is kind of the same thing, except you need to pass your food to a player who already has your food. So pass it to them twice in a row and it will bounce off their plate and right into their face. Pilgrim's Paunch requires a little more effort as you will need to visit each of your four capital cities and gain the spirit of sharing buff by eating five of each type of food at the tables there. So for the Horde, that's Ogrimmar, Thunderbluff, the Undercity, and Silvermoon, and for the Alliance, that's Stormwind, Ironforge, Darnassus, and the Exodar. Pilgrim's Peril will take you to the opposite faction cities, so the same cities I just mentioned, but if you're a Horde, you need to go to the Alliance cities, and if you're Alliance, you need to visit the Horde cities. Be sure to equip your Pilgrim's attire, robe, or dress, and all you need to do is sit down at the tables and then try and get away with your life. Visit each city for the Pilgrim's Peril achievement. Terracar Turkey Time requires the Pilgrim's Hat and the Attire, Robe or Dress. Get yourself over to Sethic Halls, which is in Terracar Forest in Outland. Sethic Halls is the eastern dungeon entrance in case you forgot, and make your way through to the last boss and kill him with your hat and chest piece equipped. Remember if you do this dungeon on Heroic, you have a chance at the Raven Lord Mount from Anzu. The Turkinator achievement requires you to kill 40 wild turkeys in either Elowen Forest or Tirisful Glades, but there's a catch. You have to make each kill within 30 seconds of the previous one. So you will get a buff which lasts for 30 seconds and you basically need to get that buff to 40 stacks without it ever expiring. It's a lot easier with a fast flying mount and you can even cheat by playing a hunter and tracking beasts, but it can still be a bit of a challenge, especially if you have to compete with other players for the turkeys. The last achievement is really the only annoying one. Turkey Lurky asks you to blast a rogue of each race with a turkey shooter. You're going to need to do your daily quests to get enough turkey shooters for all of the races, but finding a rogue of each race can actually be pretty difficult. I'd recommend hanging around Dalaran and your busy capitals to get most of them, but you might have to venture into your enemy capital cities to find some of the rarer types like dwarf or goblin rogues. If you're really struggling, you can ask a friend to create the race of rogue you need and get them through the starting area, so you can go shoot them with feathers. However you manage to find them, shoot them all with a turkey shooter and you're done with Pilgrim's Bounty. So that's it for the Pilgrim's Bounty event. Will you be picking up the transmog items this year or are you not all that interested in Pilgrim's Bounty? Leave all your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember to leave a like just below the video before you leave and if you want to see more make sure to subscribe. Apart from that, thanks for watching folks, good luck and have fun and as always I will see you next time.